And now to talk about the module of the week, let's turn it over to Martin Anderson Klutz, a senior solutions engineer at Acquia and a maintainer of a number of Drupal modules of his own. Martin, what do you have for us this week? Thanks, John. Have you ever wanted to add a dashboard to your Drupal site to provide at-a-glance information to editors? There's a module for that. Its full name is Dashboards with Layout Builder, and it was created in November of 2019 by Eric Seifert of 1X Internet. It has 2.0.8 and 2.1.6 versions available, the latter of which works with Drupal 9 and 10. It is actively maintained and has test coverage. And it currently has 13 open issues, five of which are bugs on the 2.1.x branch. It's also currently in use by 1,878 sites, according to Drupal.org. And really, the module works by allowing for the creation of dashboards as exportable config entities using Layout Builder to define the layout and placement of blocks. It's possible to create uh, unique dashboards per user. And out of the box, you get a number of dashboard components to embed views, show recent errors, display content from RSS feeds, and more. Dashboard components are also defined using a new plugin base, so you can create custom components to meet the unique needs of your site. The dashboards are also optimized for use with the Jin Admin theme, which isn't a surprise because 1x Internet is also a sponsor of Jin. If your site is using Jin, then this module will provide a central dashboard uh, that will seamlessly integrate with your backend UI. Now, if you're looking to implement dashboards on your site, you can also look at moderation dashboard and homebox as other options. The latter of those is even more widely used, but mostly by D7 sites, although one of those sites is Drupal.org. So if your team is active on Drupal.org, then the interface will be instantly familiar for them. There is also a dashboard initiative that has been started by some core maintainers. So using uh, one of the modules that we've just mentioned can set you up to weigh in on what the ideal state of that initiative might look like. Let's talk about dashboards with Layout Builder. I'm curious about one thing with this dashboard because you know one of the things that I always have to kind of wrap my mind around or, or remember when I'm creating a dashboard is, is this meant more for a user to configure some of their things themselves, kind of like the Drupal.org one, where you can kind of drag and drop and reorder, or is it just a general dashboard? Because for most clients, the static dashboard that you build with views, I say static, but um, I mean, a, a dashboard that's the same for most people that uses views to dynamically update is sufficient, but sometimes you want, you know, sometimes users need more uh, flexibility. Does It sounds like with the plugin base, this is more of the latter. Like it gives your users the tools to kind of configure their dashboard themselves. Is that, am I understanding that correctly? So I don't know for sure whether to what degree it's set up to allow users to sort of drag and drop on their own. As you say, like Homebox is is basically, yep. you know, what gives that capability on Drupal.org. It does mention on the project page the ability to have sort of, you know, per user type dashboards, but I don't know if the intent there is really to allow users to do that themselves, or if it's just because you can create as many of those dashboard config entities as you need that that you can sort of set those up and then the users kind of have whatever they need specifically. But uh, certainly if there are any, any listeners who have experience using this module, it'd be great to uh, to have some input there in terms of, you know, how this module works and how it compares to some of those other options. I mean, I'm, I imagine it's probably pretty useful if you're, you know, you know, kind of building, huh, going back to our show last week, right? If you're building a, a portal or some sort of community site where you wanted to give people a nice dashboard when they logged in, um, that was kind of configurable by them. Like this would, this would definitely help you get there. I imagine is that that pretty accurate? Yeah, I think really the intent is to sort of, you know, as soon as you log in, you can sort of see things like, um, you know, what content is is in moderation, uh, have links to, you know, create uh, popular kinds of uh, like content types and some of those kinds of things. So really make it a sort of a better starting point than, you know, like the user page as an example, when you first log in, right? Having useful information so that right out of the gate, you can do some useful things as opposed to having to like click off to some kind of a different interface. Anything feels more useful than knowing how long I've been a member of the site for. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out. I think it it seems to me that it does inherently 
still leverage a lot of the same underlying dynamic content. You know, like if you have stuff tied to blocks and content types, you probably get the permissions and people can see what's more relevant for them and stuff. So if it's engineered well, which I, I don't, I haven't tested it or used it, but like it would seem to suggest that you could configure kind of a high level view of what a dashboard is, but then get all the benefits of like the dynamic content stuff under the hood, um, which could hit a whole bunch of different use cases or be more targeted for specific users or whatever, right? So, yeah. yeah. User specific personalization, it's the future, it's the future. And now you can do it with dashboards. That I will say, I, I, I first heard about this module as actually a thread, I think, in the Jin admin theme where there was discussion about dashboards and, and that's where it was brought up. So it's uh, okay. one that I've been wanting to to dig into a little bit. I probably have, I mean, certainly on Drupal.org experience using Homebox, but uh, in terms of some of the um, sort of day-to-day -day development, I've probably worked with moderation dashboard more than this one, but uh, definitely interested, you know, the, the layout builder leveraging that as opposed to some sort of, you know, custom or bespoke um, kind of, you know, JavaScript for the placement of those things, you know, obviously makes perfect sense in the, the Drupal world. I, I might actually try this out in the next few weeks for a couple of commerce clients that I have, because I feel like this is, that's the kind of information that that's really helpful for, like quick links to see even just a, a, a quick way to see what's sold recently, a quick way to get to variations, because while I understand the reason for the dis distinction between variants and products in commerce. And I, and I know why it's the default. It is sometimes so jarring for clients to, because mo most simple commerce sites have a one-to-one -one relationship between variants and products. But if you have an easy way to um, just get to the variant directly, that might be helpful too, rather than having to dig a little bit deeper. So I'll, I'll probably try this out for that client, a couple of those clients in the next few weeks and, and report back once I've done that. All right. Well, as per the usual, this has been a very, very interesting module. And um, I look forward to hearing more about Nick's um, dashboard escapades in, in future episodes. Um, thanks a lot, Martin.